Welcome to Great Online Training series on Pharmacovigilance Interview Questions and Answers. My name is Ramya and I am working as Pharmacovigilance Trainer for Great Online Training. If you want to get live training by me, register at greatonlinetraining.com for more details. So in our earlier video, we have prepared on the on the expedited reporting criteria of causality assessment. So this question is related to the causality assessment and the interviewer may ask about your, about the next question on your answer uh, from the previous one like uh, the next question may be what is the scale for the causality assessment so for this question you need to answer like uh, uh, each and every event in the case is assessed separately and the and the evaluation can range from the definitely related possible probable unlikely to the not related so for this assessment, we use multiple criteria like uh, the pharmacological property of the medication and the genomic properties and the patient's medical history or any other underlying conditions or if the patient is taking any other medications apart from the suspect product. And also we check for the de-challenge information, re-challenge information and other any other factors that can compel like this event happened because of the medication or not. So like this, there are different points which we will consider when we are doing the causality assessment. And once we do this, uh, once we check all these factors, we will give some percentage to this, to the event related, relatedness to the medication. So there are, these are the different scales we have in the causality assessment. Like uh, if you are more than 95% in the confidence in the causality, that means we are sure like this event has happened because of the medication then we will consider it as a definitely related and also in the in this definitely related assessment we will also have uh, we will also have the de-challenge information re challenge information and the or, or else we will have the event onset which happened after uh, receiving the medication and we will also have the pharmacological evidence or the any literature evidences as well so based on the these criteria we may consider the case as definitely related and the next scale is on the probable. So if we have the confidence in causality of 50 to the 95 percent, we use this causality as probably related. And then we have the possible where we have the 5 to 50 percent of confidence in causality. Then we will consider the event as possibly related to the medication. And if the causality percentage is like uh, less than 5 percent, but not 0 percent confidence, then we will consider that event as unlikely related. And if the causality, uh, if you don't have any in, uh, sufficient case data, like we don't know anything about the when the patient has taken the medication or when the event happened, and we don't have any medical histories, concomitant medications, de challenge or the re challenge information, or we don't have any information related to the case, then we cannot uh, uh, then we cannot assess the causality uh, properly. So in that situation, we can use the uh, we can use the scale of causality assessment impossible. And then we have the causality ruled out uh, after reviewing the case data. Uh, we, if we, if we, if the based on the case data, if we clearly mention like the event is not related to the medication, then we will use this causality of causality ruled out. So these are the different scales for the causality assessment we have, and depending on the different criteria, we will select one of the scale uh, for each of the event that is reported in the case. So these are the points you need to include in your answer for this question. Hope you like this video and if you have any questions, you can ask us from the comment section below and we will get back to you at earliest. Thank you for watching.